You can use your Stream Deck to open any website or to open any program on your computer with the physical press of a button, which can save you time. Like every little bit of time you save during work, doing things you repeat over and over and over again will make you more productive. Stream Deck helps you out with that. Here's how you do it. It's quite simple using the official Stream Deck software. Let's talk very quickly about the prerequisites needed in order to actually accomplish this. And you need, you need the Stream Deck Mini, the Stream Deck 15 key, or the Stream Deck 32 key. Affiliate links in the description below. I've got the 15 and the 32. You need the official Stream Deck software on the Elgato website. You will have needed to install the official Stream Deck software and updated the firmware. If what I just said didn't make sense, you don't know how to do that, it's all good. I've got a tutorials playlist in the description below that does basic setup so you can catch up and get right here where we are today. So as you can see in the Stream Deck software under system, there's a function called website right here with a World Wide Web icon. Let's go ahead and test that one first and show you how to do that. So drag the website icon onto your Stream Deck and name the website whatever it is. So for me, I'm gonna pull up my coaching website where people can book me. What you'll do is you'll go grab the URL of that website, copy it, and then paste it right here in the URL section of the website, it's right down here by the way guys, right down here, paste the URL right down here, and then once you do that, your button is programmed. So when you press it, it will actually open that website. So let me just close it and just show you what happens. I'm now going to physically press the button, and boom, as you can see, it opens a tab or it opens a new window of whatever your default browser is and just opens that website for you at the press of a button. And look, if you hit it again, it'll open up another instance of that website. Pretty neat, right? That's the website thing. You can imagine the possibilities there uh, that you could do for your website hotkey. The next function is opening a program. So something that a lot of you guys may be doing is fumbling around, trying to find an icon on your desktop. Maybe there's a program that you use all the time that you want to have open at the press of a button. Easy peasy. Use this open button with the rocket ship, and this is going to be the program opening one. So for today, I'm gonna to just use OBS as an example. You guys may be using that software. So you're gonna type in the title of the key here in the title section, and then you're going to go find the actual app, the executable file, depending on your operating system, the actual file that you wanna open uh, to use the software. So hit the dot, dot, dot here and go find the actual executable for that particular program. So for me, uh, for OBS, it'll be right down here under OBS Studio. You go find your program, your shortcut that you wanna open. You can put a shortcut here, by the way, for programs, and then you click open. And then boom, it actually pulls the logo. Uh, from these shortcuts if you have one of those. And it actually pulls in the name of the file itself automatically here into the title field. As you can see, it, it pulled in the full name of OBS Studio from that shortcut so it can make attractive looking hotkeys for you. You can also completely delete the title if you'd like if the icon of the program here is sufficient. So as you can see, this is the OBS logo. It pulled that in automatically from that shortcut. Then once you hit that button, this is what happens it pops up. It's that simple, guys. Like any program, any video game, any editing software, any tools you're using regularly, put them physically on buttons on your Stream Deck while you're working throughout your day to save you time. If this saves you 10 seconds, uh, you know, and you use it, you know, six times a day, you save one minute every day. Over the course of a year, you end up saving hours of time. So you can end up making your life easier, saving time and becoming more productive. And as I showed you earlier, if you wanna book me for one-on-one -on -one coaching, setting up your studio, setting up your stream deck, helping you with your YouTube strategy, I've been doing this for a living for the last 10 years, just go to my website, awalldigital.com. There's a link in the description below. Choose your day, choose your time, enter your information and boom. I'm on a one-on-one -on -one video call with you, helping you out with your online broadcasting needs. Have fun.